As long as everyone, yes, I'm back with a new video. Today's video is featuring another product review. I know you've already guessed from where it is, and yes, you guessed it right. It's from Daraz. Yes, this tiny parcel contains another product that I'm going to be reviewing. It is makeup brushes, the mermaid makeup brushes. Now, in the picture, it looked really big, but this is what came. <laughs> I haven't even opened it. So here are the mermaid brushes. They're, it's super cute. But I was expecting something bigger. Tiny, right? Oh. And this was expensive. So these are being also sold as multi-purpose brushes. Now I want to show you the bristles are very soft. This is very dense. But this does feel like very plasticky. So we're going to do our makeup right now. The only thing I have on is eyeliner because that takes the most time for me personally. The feel is like very cheap, very plasticky. I want to show you the size. Now this one I also got, not from Daraz, but from a beauty shop. And I was hoping that this would be the same. So this is the size. See how tiny this is from Daraz? It was so expensive. And then, I also have a bigger one. Now this is good quality. Look how small it is. So these were also being sold separately. This is a set. So these are also being sold separately for as a multi-purpose brush. So I'm just gonna do my makeup using these brushes. Now this I'm gonna use for foundation. And it's like not a lot of surface area. Like how are you even supposed to do anything with this? And then this is for contour blush highlight. I can use this brush for that. And this one also for powders and stuff. So these are all multi-purpose. So let's start. I have my makeup right here. Actually, I took it out. I'm wearing the mesh cap. It is the most amazing thing I, have, I purchased and I forgot about. I'm wearing this one. She looks so happy. And because of her happiness, I got it. And I'm, I'm really happy with this. We're gonna start with moisturizer. So for moisturizer, I'm gonna use the Rosa 10 moisturizer. This is brightening and hydrating cream. I'm already sweating so much, like it's really, really hot. Okay, so for eyes, I'm not gonna do too much. I have eyeliner on and then I'm just gonna keep it like that. So let's moisturize our lips. I have the Labello Fruity Shine Strawberry. So the first thing is obviously a primer. I'm gonna use this primer from Makeup Forever, Radiant Primer. Just put it on your problem areas. In my case, it's my entire face. So now I'm going to apply the foundation. I'm using the Avon foundation in porcelain. Now this is a cream type foundation. Very creamy. So I'm going to use this brush with a flat top.
not a lot of surface area to work with. But you can see how it's it's blending nicely, it's okay. I like how it's going in difficult places and it doesn't take a lot of product in and with the same brush we're going to set our foundation so we don't sweat I'm going to use the Flormar Compact Powder. Oh, by the way, for eyeliner, I used Waterproof Precision Liquid Eyeliner in black. Now I'm going to do contouring. I'm going to use the Kiss Beauty Contour Stick. It broke. Is that how you do it? <laughs> Oops, very creamy. For contouring, I'm gonna use this brush. Okay, for concealer, I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Finally got my hands on this. Ow! Bristles are hard. When you do this, it hurts. The more I'm using these brushes, the more I'm missing my beauty blender. Uh, let's put translucent powder. I don't have the cap to it, so I'm gonna put it here. Ooh, that's fine. That's really fine. Now I'm gonna use this brush for putting the setting powder. Now for bronzer. I'm gonna use the Betty Lou bronzer for bronzer again I'm going to use this uh, very cheap brush look can you see that yeah it's coming out I'm not really enjoying this uh, brush these brushes are really bad now for blush I'm gonna use the Maybelline blush stick Now for the highlighter, I'm going to use this shade right here. I don't know what's going on with my skin. It, it's so textured lately. I really don't see myself doing all the makeup routine with using these brushes, that's for sure. Okay, highlighter is done. Curl eyelashes. I'm going to use the waterproof mascara from Miniso. Yay! It 
has a very small thin one for the lower lashes. No! For lashes I'm gonna wear... So I'm gonna go and wear the lashes and I'll come back. These are two real lashes. So yeah. So now I'm gonna do the eyebrows. We're almost done. So you have the pencil right here. You have powder in the middle. And then you have a spoolie at the end. Now I'm going to use the Professional Eyebrow Wax. And it smells so good. For eyeliner, I'm going to use the Sephora Eyeliner Pencil. So I'm going to add highlighter in the inner corners. I don't know how I'm going to do that. <laughs> it's spread out. Okay. So now I'm going to take a makeup wipe and wipe off my lips. Okay, so for lipstick I'm going to use Forever 52. Yeah, every woman wants that. It's a really like dark shade. Eee, I don't like the color. You 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 a Cindy Lou highlighter and just apply it. On top. Then I'm gonna use Kiss Beauty glitter eyeliner. I said I'm gonna just do like a simple eye look. And I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but we'll see. Like, where do I even put it? Okay, there. So now I'm gonna finish it off with Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. Bus. And there you have it. I used these makeup brushes to do my makeup. I will show you up close how it actually put on the makeup. In summary, I purchased three pieces mermaid cosmetic brushes, also known as fish scale makeup brushes or fish tail makeup brushes. There is the round head, bevel top, and the flat top mermaid fish tail fish scale makeup brushes. I would give it a three out of five. Product specification was not given and the brushes turned out to be very small. They did however work decently and they are a cute addition to any makeup collection. The bristles were coming off so not uh, of good quality. I did wash them afterwards. They washed very easily and they dried very easily. So yeah these brushes really worked well with all the makeup products whether it be powder, cream, liquid. They are very travel friendly and again very multi-purpose brushes. You can interchange them with any uh, makeup application. Would I recommend it? Maybe. Give it a try. Maybe you'll like it. I'm not, I'm not really mad at it. Like it's okay. It did its job. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post leave a constructive comment, and share this video. I really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Hafiz. Bye.